Do you want people to be able to say whatever they want online, even if it's offensive, or do you want This portion of the video has been censored for your safety. Even though we both know that you wouldn't be able to see this video if it was censored online, there's still a debate out there about whether or not we should actually have censorship online. Some intellectuals, like Sam Harris, do believe that censorship is evil, and some other intellectuals, like Sam Harris, don't believe that censorship is evil. Who do we believe? Should we believe Sam Harris, who says that a society with censorship doesn't allow for certain activities that humans should want? Or should we believe Sam Harris, who says that censorship is good when politics are involved? I say we should let those two Sam Harrises duke it out in a debate and see who comes out on top. Let's start with Sam Harris, who was speaking in an interview with Jonathan Derbyshire from The New Statesman. When questioned about the nature of morality, he said, But we should be aware, as a default setting, respect for other cultures and tolerance of diversity I think is a very wise principle. The following question was, And on what grounds do we defend those values of tolerance and openness? Well, I think we defend them as the most plausible basis for human flourishing. We're right to say that a culture that can't tolerate free speech is... There are a wide range of positive human experiences that are not available in that culture and we're right to want those experiences. See what he means? So, human flourishing comes when a society is tolerant of others and allows for new experiences, but when it's not tolerant of free speech, then those experiences aren't there, and humans should want those, right? Sam is certain that lives become better rather than worse in societies where tolerance and openness rule. Yeah, by any reasonable definition of better. He confirms that in his own ideas later on. And we certainly don't have to concede that it's just our preference versus their preference, and there's just no way one preference can trump another. See? Tolerance is great! People's ideas do clash against one another every once in a while, but through that we get human flourishing. He doubles up on this confirmation in a recent podcast interview where he talks about the way he views the world. Insofar as I'm continually just trying to figure out what's true, and what's consistent with what I claimed was true five minutes ago or five years ago, uh, that causes me to just bump up against taboos and, and blasphemies and ideologies that, that um, are more rigid than that. Finally, Sam Harris wants it to be clear that this logic on censorship doesn't just apply to him, but can apply to anyone. But at this point, I think you should have the right to be an asshole who destroys your reputation and, and suffers the, the, the penalties in you know, in the marketplace of ideas, right? That's great. We have the right to be offensive. But at this point, I think you should have the right to be an asshole who destroys your reputation. And we should test our ideas in the marketplace of ideas. And, and, and suffers the, the, the penalties in, you know, in the marketplace of ideas, right? Oh, okay. That sounds good. I'm glad Sam Harris wants me to be tolerant of other people's ideas and test my own idea against theirs, even if it's offensive. So Sam Harris has presented his case against censorship. He believes that human flourishing is the best aim that people have, and that tolerance, openness to experience, discussion, and criticism are what get us to that human flourishing. He also believes that if he lives a life of tolerance and openness, and is well-grounded himself, even if he bumps up against other people's ideas, through discussion, real truth can be found. That causes me to just bump up against taboos and, and blasphemies and ideologies that, that um, are more rigid than that. Ah, it's clear that famed intellectual Sam Harris is against censorship and for tolerance. Now, over to our counterpoint, famed intellectual Sam Harris, who believes that censorship is the only way to preserve the ideas that keep society together. Let him have it, Sam. A Trump University as a story is worse than anything that could be in, in Hunter Biden's laptop, in my view, right? Now that's not, that doesn't answer the people who say it's still completely unfair to not have looked at the laptop in a timely way and to have shut down the, you know, the New York Post's Twitter account. Like that, that's a, just a conspiracy, that's a left-wing conspiracy to deny the presidency to Donald Trump. Absolutely it was, absolutely. So you're saying that people both decided to hide Hunter Biden's laptop and cover for Joe Biden in order to deny Trump the presidency? It's still completely unfair to not have looked at the laptop in a timely way and to have shut down the, you know, the New York Post's Twitter account. Like that, that's a, just a conspiracy, that's a left-wing conspiracy. And you think it's the right thing to do? But I think it was warranted. So, instead of letting someone's ideas be tested in the marketplace of ideas, it's better just to censor one side and not let them have a fair shot? But I think it was warranted. Tell me, what makes you think that censorship against a presidential candidate is the best option? When I look at Twitter, I see a company that 
has a term has terms of service which people like Alex Jones and Trump clearly violated. I mean, whether they in fact violated this terms of service as written, I think they violated any uh, coherent terms of service that, that Twitter should have had. So a presidential candidate violated imaginary unwritten rules of a private company, and you think the best option is to censor him and support his rival? But I think it was warranted. Is there any other remark you have to make about your reasoning for censorship? Listen, I don't care what's in Hunter Biden's life. I mean, Hunter Biden, at that point, Hunter Biden literally could have had, had the corpses of children in his basement. I would not have cared, right? It's like, it's, there's nothing. First of all, it's Hunter Biden, right? It's not, it's like, it's not Joe Biden. But even if Joe, like, even the, whatever scope of Joe Biden's corruption is, like, if, you, if we could just go down that rabbit hole endlessly and, and understand that he's getting kickbacks from Hunter Biden's deals in Ukraine or wherever else, right, or China, it is infinitesimal compared to the corruption we know Trump is involved in. It's like, it's like, it's like a firefly to the sun. So you think that Trump is such a bad guy that anything goes when it comes to opposing him, even censorship? But I think it was warranted. Well, first we had famed intellectual Sam Harris who was saying that tolerance and openness are the best. But now we have famed intellectual Sam Harris who was saying that censorship is the best if someone you really don't like is winning a political race. Take that, famed intellectual Sam Harris. So we've heard from the Sam Harris who spoke to the New Statesman back in 2011. And this Sam Harris declares that tolerance and openness are vital and that our ideas should be tested in the marketplace of ideas even if they're offensive. But we've also heard from the Sam Harris who, back in 2016, had his world turned upside down and who has since obsessively turned to politics, specifically Trump. Who do you think is right? Uh, I'll let you decide. But really, I think... This portion of the video has been censored for your safety. Anyway, whatever, who cares what I think? Just remember that whatever Sam Harris you choose, that means that one Sam Harris is telling the truth and one is lying. He's a liar, a deceiver, a charlatan. If it takes a minute to choose, however, you might need this message from our surprise special guest, famed intellectual Sam Harris. The all, pol political opinion is already being just, just completely inundated with misinformation, biased takes, half-truths, and mm -hmm. outright lies. The conversation around censorship heavily involves truth, and in order to participate, you need to make sure you have the right truth. So click here to find out about real truth and not end up like Sam. I'll see you next time.